so hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving a problem form a number divisible by 3 using array digits this problem is very simple so i won't go into much details so let's start with the problem statement so you will be given an array of integers of length n you can construct an integer from two integers by treating the integers as strings and then concatenating them for example 19 and 4 can be used to construct 194 and 419 so you can append 4 before it or 4 after it. The task is to find whether it's possible to construct an integer using all the digits of these numbers such that it would be divisible by 3. If it is possible then print 1 and if not print 0. For example if you observe 40, 50 and 90. So it is possible to construct an integer using all these numbers that will be divisible by 3. Okay. Now, in order to solve this problem, we just need to know one thing. Like any number which is divisible by 3, you can observe its sum of digits is going to be divisible by 3. So, for example, 40 plus 50 is going to be 90, plus 90 is going to be 180, and 180 is divisible by 3. So, your output is going to be 1. Similarly, 1 plus 4 is going to be 5, which is not divisible by 3. So, our output is going to be 0. The expected time complexity is going to be order of n and the expected space complexity is going to be order of 1. So we need to simply check whether the sum of all the elements of the array is going to be divisible by 3 or not. If it is divisible by 3, we will return 1 otherwise 0. So let's directly jump into the implementation. So we have taken a sum which is of type long long because it may flow the integer range. So we have taken long long. Now you will be iterating on the array and you will be summing up all the elements of the array and in the end you can simply check whether your sum is going to be divisible by 3 or not and in this way your time complexity is going to be order of n because you are using a for loop and your space complexity is going to be order of 1 because you are simply using a sum variable so i hope you have liked this video if you have understood do like this video share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching guys